Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another episode of Prime Predictions. Avengers anticipation is hitting a fever pitch as Marvel's Infinity War creeps closer and closer. With that in mind, I'd like to make a controversial prediction on what would be a huge development in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. And just a quick heads up for all the fans out there, we will be discussing portions of the Infinity War trailer and some rumors and speculation surrounding the project. So if you want to go into Infinity War with a clean slate, go ahead and save this video for later and turn it off now and you'll save yourself a lot of heartache. Otherwise, let's get to it. Now before I continue on this path, I'd like to say that I don't want to see this happen. However, as Infinity War approaches, every fan in anxious anticipation is certain of one thing, someone's gotta die. Quicksilver aside, Marvel has lost none of its main characters in the War of Good vs. Evil, and everyone knows war has casualties. There have been too many fake outs, near misses, and miraculous resurrections to maintain the level of stakes required for global and now interstellar levels of conflict. Someone's gotta go, and we all know who it's going to be. And that's why I'm predicting that Spider-Man is about to bite the big one. Now you wait just a damn minute, Huxmas. Tom Holland's doing a great job and he just got here. Now I can hear the comment section going nuts already. And while I agree with both of those statements, the evidence does not seem to be going in Holland's favor. The first Infinity War trailer gives us Peter, complete with hair-raising spider sense, witnessing a weird space circle showing up above New York City. We also see the Iron Spider costume riding the damn thing while it's in motion. The Infinity War Super Bowl spot all but confirms that motion is upward, and as we see poor Peter hauling ass towards space, in his standard suit no less. Can, uh, can Spider-Man breathe in space? Ah, either way, I'm sure he'll figure it out. As we see later on, we see Peter hanging out with both Iron Man and Doctor Strange which normally would be pretty fun, except we know Iron Man is headed directly for Thanos. Which can only mean one thing, and this choke slam from hell proves it. Sorry, Kane. You don't need years of comic reading to tell you Thanos vs. Spider-Man doesn't end well for Spidey. I believe it's here we'll see Peter catch the ass end of an ass beating that may very well take his life. If you don't believe this ominous apology from the leaked San Diego Comic-Con footage, Joy, I'm sorry. Spells trouble for Mr. Parker's chances, this devastated Tony Stark footage speaks volumes. Now before you boo me off the internet, hear me out. As I said before, I don't want to see this happen. Tom Holland has provided a youthful energy and innocence reminiscent of Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's classic run on the character. However, Spider-Man's death is too great of a catalyst for the story to ignore. The loss of Peter Parker would just be one more unfortunate failure on top of the emotional dumpster fire that has been Tony Stark's life for the past 10 years. When would losing Parker finally send Tony off the deep end, where broken bones, wormholes, and space ogre punches couldn't? And we can't complete a discussion about the fate of Spider-Man without talking about the menage a trois of Disney, Marvel, and Sony holding his film rights. Tom Holland has six movies on his contract, three solo films, and three co-starring roles. His co-starring bits are up with Civil War, Infinity War, and the Avengers 4 movie, presumably. And he's won into his solo movies with Homecoming. While his next solo Amazing Spider-Man is confirmed to be within the MCU, his third solo outing is thus far stated a Sony venture with no MCU guarantee. Does anyone out there believe Kevin Feige and Marvel will spend years rebuilding their prodigal son only to risk it all on giving Sony the keys once more for Tom Holland's sixth and possibly final outing as the Wallcrawler? Wouldn't it be smart for Marvel to protect the continuity and quality of their universe from Sony, who has proven time and time again they don't get Spider-Man? Watching them slowly kill the Fantastic Four and X-Men in the comics while Fox held the rights taught me one thing about the House of Mouse running Marvel. They'd rather see their characters in the grave than raking in cash for someone else. I can easily see Feige flipping Amy Pascal and Sony the Bird by killing Pete in Infinity War, using Doctor Strange or the Soul Stone to bring Spidey and anyone else who's died back for the final showdown in Avengers 4, before having the resurrected Avengers return to the grave to prevent Universal Timeline explosion. Much like Sam Adams, preventing Universal Time explosion is always a good decision. This allows them to use Tom Holland's final MCU contracted film as a baton pass, placing Peter in a flashback slash force ghost role as he prepares young Donald Glover's nephew, Miles Morales, to take up the webs. Now this setup would conveniently burn through Tom Holland's contract with the MCU and leave him a dead man with one more movie to go for Sony. At this point, we should get Hardy vs. Holland in the War of the Toms, 
But if Marvel's not behind the wheel, I'm skeptical at best. Either way, Marvel will have undercut what will be Peter Parker Spider-Man's 11th trip to the silver screen by introducing the new biracial hotness that will be Miles Morales. If Marvel seizes on the low-hanging fruit that is taking out a young and fan-favorite Spider-Man to bolster the hateful legend of Thanos, expect Miles Morales to be waiting in the wings. After all, I don't want those weapons in this neighborhood. I got a nephew who lives here. It was reported that Tom Holland was seen crying at the initial trailer release for Infinity War. I think now we know why. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video and want to see more of my thoughts on all things Marvel, please subscribe for weekly videos. Like and share if you think I'm onto something and get sweet, sweet bragging rights when the poor Petey Parker ends up cold in Infinity War. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, guys, good luck in your day and Godspeed.